you guys, it's Wednesday. We have a big day. I'm dressed in full work attire. I mean, this isn't really full work attire. It's like my version of work attire. We have a big meeting at 10. And then I'm going to Fort Worth um, for a little special thing. So I'm gonna try and take you guys along. I was gonna film me getting ready and I literally got up at six and I don't know where the three hours went, but come along for the ride. I made a little quick change. I'll show you my outfit when I get out. Lauren's driving me because I have so many emails to do. She's hustling. <laughs> that I am. Headed to Fort Worth for like a fun little day. I want to get this custom hat from the store. So I dressed in my cowboy chic, obviously, or cowgirl chic. See you when we get there. Wait, what just happened? I got my protein bar and I apparently was like melted into my shorts. <laughs> it's the third time today. It's right? like the only thing I've eaten today. I've changed four times. So I'm gonna try and wash it off. I ruined everything, <laughs> you guys. What the? I'm about to go get the best hat in the world. Are you ready for this? Gus looks like he wants to be my friend. Okay. In a felt or strong? I think a oh, felt for sure. Okay. And then, like classic cover vibe. I love this. Bone is pretty fire. Oh, we have to shake it. Bone is it. I'm from Oklahoma City, but I live in Dallas. I just had a friend come here and get a hat, and I was like, I have to come. What's your favorite part about shaping hats? Seeing the excitement on everybody's face when you get a hat. What's the craziest customer you've ever got? Not me particularly. One brought his own mirror here. Oh, mirror? <laughs> Not mad at it. it. <laughs> All mirrors are different. Okay, so I got my custom hat today the best hat store in Florida. Um, and on every hat, I don't know if you can see here on the back, everyone gets a compliment or a sticker that honors the hat king who started this, Keith Maddox. And Mercedes, his daughter's about to come out here, he passed away a couple years ago, but it's in remembrance of him. He created these amazing things. So this is Mercedes I just told you guys about. It's a business with her mother, yes. we love a women-owned business. You guys, hello. Yes, 100%. Tell us, like, what's something special about these hats? Like, they're custom fitted. Yes, so they're all handmade, custom fitted, all still in America. Female owned, my mom owns American Hat Company and the Best Hat Store. It's just such a fun experience. You come here, we fit it to your head, to your face, to your personality. It could be fashion, it could be Western. So this is just like a cattleman, Western. It's like very traditional. Okay. Western shape. Okay. And then if you want to do a little more fashion. The best she doesn't even have hat hair. This one's a little funkier because it has the tilt, but it just flat brim. Really um, cool. And then I just tilted it to make it a little bit more funky. Told Jesse, if they don't bury me in this hat, I will come back and haunt whoever made that decision. <laughs> so so real quick, that plus X stands for positive times, and my dad passed away a few years back from cancer, um, and this was his cattle brand. So that stands for positive times. We kind of launched that after he passed away, kind of as his legacy, and um, it's really taken off. Like anytime you see that patch, people associate American Hat Company and the best hat store with this plus X. Huh. Looking down on all of us. Thank you for the hat, Keith. I will wear this forever. 
Okay, you guys, I got my hat. I got my hat box, because you know I ruin everything, so I've gone in the hat box. We had a slight blunder. My hat flew off my head because apparently it was too big. And I got a big old spot on the back, but they fixed it. My guy Andy is the best hat in store. something you might like to have two of on your bed. Cowboys. Okay, you guys, we're going to Joe T's to end the day, obviously. If you go to Fort Worth and you don't go to Joe T's, you're doing something wrong. I'm so excited for the mark. Lauren Joe. <laughs> at Joe T's. In the interest of knowing that I'm a spell queen, I am going to take my Dior scarf off because I will probably ruin it. You guys know that scene from, I think it's Austin Powers where whatever the evil guy is, he's like, get in my belly. That is how I feel. I'm about to strip and salsa right now. I feel as though I haven't had food in years. Okay, first of all, spill queen. Like, I get, like, do you see what's happening over here? This is why I took my <clears throat> thing off. Okay, spicy margarita tahini rim. Joe T's is probably the best margarita in the USA. Maybe in the world. I would say they went light on the tahini, but it's okay. Spicy mark going in. Oh, just spilled it. Okay, you guys, we finished our food. It was delicious. So good. I was just saying I wish I brought a makeup wipe in the car because I cannot wait to wipe my makeup off and shower. And put my jammies on, obviously. Okay, you guys, the hat is gonna go in the box. Lauren, I need your help. I don't really know. Okay, first of all, this hat here. Let's get a close up. <laughs> Please. Please. I think that the hat goes in. This goes around the hat, right? And then it goes inside the box on it. Like this. I wish they gave you a tutorial. Can I do like, can we do like a get ready with me, but put your hat in the box? <laughs> he was like, this. I don't know. This is like the least flattering situation that's ever happened to me, but I'm gonna just stick this puppy in there. Did they give you a tutorial on this? Or an instruction guide? <laughs> I don't know. This doesn't make sense to me. So this definitely goes in here. That's a lie. I don't know if it goes in here. Okay, and then I want to say this goes inside here, but then that's not going to close. I got to put a in for this. Alright. Wait, does the white part, like, Unless it does it go? Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are good to go. Wait, I think this does go inside there. Bag secure. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, you're so close. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's so close. She's like 4'9". I swear, I can't even get in my own car. I don't even want to know what I look like. I'm a little oily. But this makeup salon's been on for almost 12 hours. Okay, you guys, I just got home. I've got my trusty little hat. My hair's in a pony because I had hat hair. <sighs> I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna set it up. Okay, first of all, my room, you guys. I'm gonna set it up as part of my little situation. Hold on, let's just put this here. I'm gonna move my coffee table books. And then we're gonna put the coffee table books back on top. For now. Okay, this, this is also best lip crayons ever. Um, that's gonna be my vibe. Probably because I have nowhere else to put it. <laughs> I have no room. I always talk about how I film too close to my face, so gonna hold it all the way out here. Okay, you guys, thank you for coming with me to Fort Worth. Um, thank you for coming. My room is a mess. I'm packing because I'm leaving tomorrow. But I can't wait to wear the hat. You guys were a part of the journey of making how amazing it was and love you. See you soon.